Today we're going to talk about five things that you need to know before you become a diver. guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy TJ Diver if you're new here this is a channel about diving going out meeting new people doing different things and having fun if you haven't done it already make sure you subscribe make sure you uh, like and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing so winter's almost over spring's almost here so what does that mean for you guys that means that the dive season is among us a lot of your local dive shops are going to start running charters. They're going to start giving classes for uh, new scuba divers. And today I'm going to give you guys a few tips that will help you transition from your normal everyday boring life to an awesome life as a scuba diver. So here we go. All right, so step number one, make the commitment. If you don't tell yourself that you're going to do it, you're probably not going to do it. You're not getting any younger. Find a dive instructor, find a dive master, find a dive shop. Go sit down, go talk to them, tell them what you're trying to do, and just go do it. Do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Number two, try and discover scuba. Before you start scuba diving, you want to make sure that scuba diving is for you. Because scuba diving isn't for everybody. I've given numerous discover scubas just to find out that somebody really didn't like scuba diving. They just thought it was a good idea. So what is a discover scuba? A discover scuba is basically where you go meet up with a dive master or you meet up with an instructor. They put you in the gear. It's very simple. It's very easy. You don't have to assemble anything. They pretty much do everything for you. They teach you three skills, which are the mass clearing. They teach you regulated recovery and regulated clearing. Once you have demonstrated that you can master all three of those, they will then take the gear, suit you up, put you in the water, and you basically go diving without any of the book work, without any of the paperwork, and you just swim around for a certain period of time, and then you see if you like it. If you like it, then you can move forward. If not, at least you tried it, and you know that diving isn't for you. Tip number three, invest in your own gear. It's very important to invest in your own gear because you're not just going to stop diving once you learn to dive. You're going to continue to dive. You want to make sure that all your gear fits, you want to make sure all your gear is comfortable and you want to make sure you know how to use all your gear and it's easy for you to use. Personally, I have my own setup that I like to use. It's very comfortable for me. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now and my instructor told me the same thing. He actually took me to the dive shop, helped me fit on gear, um, helped me to get gear formatted for what I wanted, I wanted to do. So just make sure that you take the time to get your own gear and you also make the invest investment. I do understand that gear can be a little pricey, but you don't have to start out with the most high-end gear as soon as you become a diver. Start small, get comfortable, know what the things are that you're wearing, know what certain gear is for, and then start from there, and then you just build. So make sure, make sure, make sure you invest in good gear. Step number four, ask questions. I know so many people that sit back and they wait for other people in the classroom to ask questions. Ask as many questions as you need to ask. Your dive master and your instructors are there for you. There's no such thing as cliche as it sounds. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Ask all the questions you want. There's going to be things that you just don't know. There's going to be things that you wonder about. There's going to be things that you see under underwater that you want to know about. There's going to be wildlife that you see on, underwater that may be hazardous that you know nothing about. Make sure you ask your dive master and make sure you ask your instructor those important questions. If you don't want to uh, ask them right then and there or you think you may not remember them during the class, whenever you get free time, write them down and then present them to your dive master and your instructor later. You cannot go wrong with this. More knowledge is the best thing that you can have when you dive, you continuously need to seek, you know, the higher level of knowledge. So number five, these books are your best friends. These are your open water books. Make sure your dive master and your instructor give you books prior to you actually attending the course. 
You want to get as much knowledge as you can prior to going. Why? Because this allows you more time in the water to perfect your diving skills. These books have a few knowledge reviews in them. Um, they have DVDs that you can watch. There's tons of information on the internet. Again, you can source your uh, instructor and your dive master and they'll give you information, but you want to make sure that you get the crew packs that come with your open water courses and you want to get those and you want to study those so that way you can speak the language when you show up for your first day of class. Don't be that guy or that girl to show up and think, oh, well, I'll just wing it. There's no winging anything when you become a scuba diver. You have to study, you have to gain knowledge. So if you haven't heard anything I said in this entire video, make sure, make sure, make sure you get your open water books from your scuba instructor. So appreciate you guys stopping by again. Um, like I said before, these are only five steps or tricks or tips or however you wanna look at it that will help you to become a scuba diver. So happy diving. If you guys liked the video, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell so you can never miss another video. I do plan on making uh, more videos right now. It's a little cold outside. The weather's just not agreeing with us divers. So as soon as the weather clears up, I'm taking you guys out on the water. We're going to get to the adventures. But until then, make sure you order your, uh, your scuba diving books. You don't have to order them through me. Find your, your local dive shop get to it. I know you guys want to scuba. That's why you're here on this channel. Happy diving.